everybody. Happy Friday. Get excited. This is Dr. Manifa Jones. Um, my pen name is The Messenger. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to have you today. We want you to know that Healing 101 is a platform where we all come together live to heal. Y'all better get excited. This is an opportunity for us to live our life at our highest good, at our highest best. This is an opportunity for us to heal from all the past traumas. This is an opportunity for us to understand that guess what? We were not born to suffer. That we're not always going to be going from problems to challenges. We're going to be overcoming these things. So you better get excited about 2023. Let me tell you, I have over 25 years experience as a clinical psychologist, as a college professor teaching psychology, as a mother, a wife, a sister, a daughter. Effectively today, I'm your friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Love Tribe. And let me tell you something, Love Tribe, we have something amazing to celebrate today. Because guess what, y'all? Y'all better give it up and y'all better get excited because we have hit 10,000 followers. We are now at 10,200 followers because we understand that it only takes five minutes to change our lives we don't have to get deep we don't have to get complex we can keep this thing very simple just apply a little bit consistency guys and guess what we changed our lives look every single day you get 24 hours every single day right so you can do whatever you want to do with those 23 hours and 55 minutes. With them five minutes that's left over, let's give it back to ourselves. Let's connect with our divine nature. Let's increase our spiritual practice. Let's in, in, in get into our physical mastery and our mental mastery. So guys, I'm so excited. I'm beyond excited. I want you guys to know that Dr. Monifa Jones, I've written my book. It is called The Healing Directory. And you better get excited because this directory takes you on a journey. Your life is called a grand tour. And LaVesta, it takes you on a journey back home. Okay. I welcome all of you guys. I welcome you, Denise. I welcome you, Prime Plus. I welcome all of you because guess what? We are all going on a journey back home. Because I don't know what happened in this world, especially since 2020. We got a little bit lost. And we kind of lost our way. But I want you to know, my grand tour began on June 27, 1969. And I had some pitfalls along the way. And I met some people along the way that I, I, well, I don't mind forgetting. I've had some experiences along the way that I don't mind forgetting. And I always let you guys know a disclaimer in the beginning. I get a little bit loud. I'm sorry. Please turn down your volume because my gift is I am the messenger to awaken you from within. And a lot of times it's a little whisper. But let me ask you a question. If you see a child about to run in front of a car and get killed, will you whisper or will you yell? You see your best friend or your mama or your relative or your family member in a, a house burning down. Are you going to whisper? Are you going to yell? So I want you guys to know my gift is to say, hello, welcome back home. Hello, you were not born to suffer. You didn't come into this existence to suffer. You did not. So I'm here to let you know, feeling good is a strategy, baby. In 2023, we say, how are we going to predict my future? Let me tell you how we predict the future. We create it. That's how we predict the future. So y'all better get excited about our healing manual. Look, let me tell you, you cannot pour from an empty cup. My manual discussed the keys to self-love. Stopping self-sabotage. Because I don't know about you, but let me tell you, it took me over 50 years to understand that I need to stop sabotaging myself. And the reason why I lack myself, the reason why I doubted myself, and the reason why I was nervous is because I didn't have confidence in that area and I didn't have the skills. So can I tell you this life that we live in? Can I tell you it's like a maze? But you on a grand tour, baby. You better get excited. And one of the first things you need to know is that you already won. One of the first things you need to know is that in order for you to even be here, you have to be a winner. When your daddy and your mama got together, you know how you got here. You were the ones that, that survived, okay? 
So get excited about that. So I'm here to remind you that there's a winner inside of you. And I'm here to remind you that you've been sleeping on yourself. And I'm here to say, wake up. I'm here to say this world, we can live exceedingly, abundantly above all that we ask or think. But let me tell you what I love. Because I was 330 pounds and I, I couldn't find my way, I needed little five-minute strategies. That's what I learned, and that's what I'm going to show you, right? Because I, I, I grew up, you know, in low income and, and I was on welfare and I lived in Section 8. If you don't know what that is, that's low income housing. I decided to get an education. I decided to get multiple PhDs. Get excited. I decided to give myself a six figure and to learn how to make a second seven figure profit. Get excited. I didn't take my environment as an excuse. I didn't take my body as an excuse. I had to figure out how to work this body. That was 330 pounds. I am now hitting the 170s. Y'all better get excited. And how did I do it? Five minutes. I was that girl. I needed simplicity. I was the one that I needed strategies that was going to really work. Not the ones that I'm going to be like, tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to try tomorrow. You know how many last suppers I have had? I had a lot of last suppers, y'all. But I, I decided that I'm going to stop sabotaging myself. If you guys are with me, put a one in the comment. If you have determined that in 2023, you are going to stop sabotaging yourself. If you have determined in 2023 that it's not okay to do business as usual. I'm telling you right now, if you never met me, I might feel like I'm coming off a little strong. But I promise you, Cheryl, there's always a person. I promise you, Tianve, there's always a person who comes back to this realization that they need this message. See, for me, I kept bumping my head. I kept hitting the wall. I had to bury two sons. I had to be in a domestic violence relationship for over 20 years. I had to be shot and left for dead, almost uh, de determined dead, sweetie. That's what happened to me. I had to get all the way to that point to understand that I needed a difference, to understand that I'm the captain of my ship, that I rule my own life. And that my responsibility for my life is in my hands, Prissa. No one is coming to save me. I have to save me. So, Julietta, I need y'all to meet me here every Monday through Friday, live at 5. Because we are getting these strategies from a clinical psychologist for over 25 plus years experience, giving it to you free of charge. Y'all better get excited. And if you don't have my manual, make sure you get it. Okay? Because, listen... We're going over the keys to self-love. If you just don't know, if you don't love yourself, nothing else matters. It's not the main thing. It's the only thing. We are seeking physical and mental mastery. We didn't come to this world to suffer. We didn't come to this world for somebody to assault us, to abandon us, to reject us, to treat us so poorly that we're always trying to overcome trauma. That's not what this life was supposed to be. But if you hang out with me, I'm going to teach you about the Grand Tour, Wanda. And if you hang out with me, I'm going to show you that everything in your life, you designed it for yourself. And we're going to give our family and friends a pass. We're going to let them off the hook. We're going to let them know that right now, we know that they are our teachers. Do you understand that... A cashier in Walmart is not really going to teach you anything because you don't know them. A stranger won't teach you much. But your relatives and your family, your friends, the one that you keep close, you're going to pay attention. But let me tell you what I'm trying to do. I'm helping you to avoid all that I've been through for over 53 years. I want you to know I am timeless and ageless, although my birth certificate states I have been here 53 years. I know you can't tell. Get excited. But at the end of the day, I'm giving you the strategies so you can avoid all the headaches. You don't have to get to 330 pounds. I can show you fitness and clean eating in five minutes. You don't have to live in lack. I can show you production. Very simple. Five minutes. You don't have to be lost. I can show you spirituality through meditation and journaling. Five minutes. You get 24 hours every day. Don't tell me, Magri, that I love. Don't tell me that you don't have five minutes for yourself. 
Don't tell me that you get 24 hours every single day and you can't take five minutes for yourself. Don't tell me you can't do it. And see, if you think that, it's because you were where I was. You didn't know that you were worth it. See, you didn't know that. I didn't know. I didn't know, Magri. I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know that I wasn't worth it. I put everybody else ahead of me. My family, my friends, my children, everybody else was the priority. Until when I needed, there was no one to turn to. And guess what I had to do? Wow. Guess what I had to do? I had to rely on myself. And like LaVesta says in my Tiffany Haddish voice, she ready. When life knocked me up against my head so hard. When I kept hitting the wall so many times. When I buried one son, I was like, okay, nothing worse can happen, Julietta. And then I buried two sons. I said, can anything worse happen? It did. I had living family members, living relatives leave me for dead. And when that happened, I finally resolved in my soul. I don't need no more pain. The world shows up to highlight for us. Do you respect? Do you value? Do you love yourself? And if you don't, I'm going to keep showing you over and over and over and over and over and over and over again till you get it. I want you to know I get it. I told you yesterday we have relatives and we have family. Relatives have our blood in their vein. That doesn't mean they have our best interests. And then we have family members who don't have our blood in their veins. But listen, you are worth everything you are going for. Everything you lost in the last couple of years, you are worth to restore it and get that much better. So I'm here to tell you today, self-love is what we're going to do. You cannot impact the community until you first impact yourself. Y'all better get excited about that. See, we have to challenge our negative thoughts. What we do is we always go to the worst case scenario. We always say, I know the absolute worst thing is going to happen. I know I'm always going to be rejected, abandoned, unwanted. I, what is the point of even trying? That was my story I told myself. But I want you to know for this grand tour that I'm on, and this grand tour that all of you guys from the Love Tribe are tapping in with me at Healing 101, I'm going to show you that you chose this journey. And I'm going to show you that you're in charge of this journey. And I'm going to show you that you get to write the end of the story. And guess what the last chapter reads? Y'all better get excited. The last chapter is the best is yet to come. Y'all better get excited. The best is yet to come. This is so exciting that we have an opportunity to tap into our greatness, that we have an opportunity to stop looking at depression, which is worry over our past and accept things as they are rather than what we think they should be. And then we look at anxiety from a place of power, from a different perspective. And we say, oh, anxiety is, is worry over my future. Let me accept thing as, things as they are rather than what I want them to be. I'm going to challenge my negative thoughts this year. Do you know that we think 60,000 thoughts every single day? And most women, we think more than that. And do you know we make 10,000 decisions every single day? Am I going to press the alarm? I'm going to brush my teeth. What shoes am I going to wear? What blouse am I going to wear? What am I going to eat? What route am I going to take? How am I getting in the car? Look, we make 10,000 decisions every day. Do you think it's important to connect with yourself? Do you think it's important to fall in love with yourself? And my answer to you is, it is. Get excited about that. So what we're going to learn to do is we're going to stop that loop of negative thoughts. So hang out with me in Healing 101. Because I told you, feeling good mm, 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 is, a strat is a strategy. So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to be together for a little bit on this Friday. Thank you so much for hitting 10,000 followers on Instagram. I'm so excited. 10,200. I'm so excited. I want you guys to know, listen, I want you to take the pick that you have in your mind of yourself to do is to throw that pick away. 
I want you to know right now, when I was 330 pounds, I never saw myself as a woman of 170 pounds. I never saw it. I never saw myself with the amazing husband that I have today, a very spiritual, loving man. Never saw it. I never saw myself doing half of the things I'm doing. I'm, I'm an author. Get excited. So listen, let's throw away the pick that is probably more like a nightmare of what we expect our lives to be. And why don't we just release ourselves of the outcome? Why don't we just release ourselves from the attachment of what we think it should be? And why don't we go on this journey to self-love? If you with me, please put a one in the comments. If you say, Dr. J, I am going with you on this journey to self-love. I think you know a little something, something. If you still saying, get excited after you bury two sons. If you still saying, get excited after they almost bury you. If you still saying, get excited after you survived a 20 year marriage of domestic violence. If you still saying, get excited after you built multiple businesses to multi-million dollar profits and people have stolen away. If you saying, get excited, Annalie, after everything you've been through, I think I'm going to hang out with you. I think I'm going to figure out how feeling good is a strategy. Listen, I used to wake up every morning in misery. I'm telling you, it was a part of my life. My issues were, were stored in my tissues. It became a part of my DNA. I was waking up in misery every day. Never proud of myself. Never even wanted to look in the mirror. But when I got by myself and I started journaling and, and I started asking the hard questions and I started crying and I started writing and I started deep diving and I started tapping in with myself, I realized I don't have to be afraid of the shadow work. I don't have to be afraid of the dark. I don't have to be afraid of the shadows because guess what? They told me there was light at the end of the tunnel. That's what they told me. I didn't see the light. I'm telling y'all right now, boom, boom. I did not see the light. I ain't see it. So guess what I did, Annalie? I lit that tunnel up. Y'all better get excited. I came with my own explosives. Matter of fact, I'm implosive from within. My power comes from within. When I stop looking outside of me, I'm external components in the world of everything that I was looking for. I wanted to be accepted. It never happened. But guess what? I like and I love myself. So if you like and you love me, thank you. If you don't, thank you. It's extra. Get excited. I'm in love with me. Because the day you decide you don't love me no more, you can take that love back. That means, guess what? I'm going to be left depleted. I'm going to be left with nothing. So I don't decide it after I bump my head a million times that I like and I love myself. Get excited. I'm not waiting for you. I'm not giving you the keys to my happiness. As a matter of fact, give them back. There ain't no key under the rock. I don't have no spare key. You cannot have the keys to my happiness. They're in my pocket. And no one can borrow them. Get excited. So with that being said, guys, we're going to let everybody that we think hurt us off the hook in 2023. And we're going to get to know ourselves because we know judgment has no place. We know that blame has no place. We know that just we're going to let go of what no longer serves us because it no longer serves us. And we're going to get excited about falling in love with ourselves. And we're going to get excited about this journey of the grand tour. I don't know about you, but I entered my stage, get excited, on June the 27th, 1969, Kim, that's when I entered my stage. I am ageless and I'm timeless. But on my stage, in my journey, on my maze, on the streets, on the highways, on the blocks, some of them went through the hood, had some challenging experiences. But I've already determined that the best is yet to come. So y'all better get excited. So today is January the 6th. So let's go over day six in the journal. So my book is called The Healing Directory. And it's a directory to lead you back to within. It's going to be a 365 day manual right now for only $19.99. You can get my manual. It's a 90 day manual. It's a book. The chapters are the keys to self-love. Stop self-sabotage, which I've been doing all my life. And the final chapter is turn your pain into purpose. Y'all better get excited about that. I 
I'm going to get something for all them tears. I'm turning my sadness into service, my wounds into wisdom, and my triggers into my testimony. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm getting something for all them tears. And at the end of the day, I'm going to serve you. Because guess what? This is what I love to do. If I could be a voice in the wilderness to say, don't come this way. Don't come the way of self-doubt. It's not a good street. It's a dead-end street. Don't, don't come the way of, of self-imposed limitations. It's a dead-end street. Don't come the way of fear. It's, it, it, it's a dead-end street. It's a dead-end street. Don't come the way of low self-esteem, lacking confidence in yourself, always jealous of others, always elevating others, always overestimating the value of others and underestimating the value of yourself. It's a dead-end street. But guess what I'm going to tell you? You want to get on the road with me, baby. Uh, you want to excel. You want to be elevated. You want to empower yourself. The only place we go is to limitless expectations. The only place we go is to confidence and faith. The only place we go is to overcoming and commanding and manifesting what we want in our environment. Y'all better get excited. So with that being said, I'm going to go over day six of the journal. This is a 90-day journal for the beginning of the year. You've already missed the first six days. So go ahead and reach out to me so you can get your healing directory by the messenger Monifa. I am the message from within. Your soul told me to tell you they've been waiting on me. <laughs> your soul told me to tell you they've been waiting a long time for you to sit down for five minutes. So they could tell you how great you are. They said you've been sleeping on yourself. They said you've been hanging out with people who make you feel less than. They said, Messenger Monifa, please tell them. Please tell them. I've been in here waiting for us to elevate, baby. I've been in here waiting for the next move. But they won't move because they don't know how great they are. If you hang out with me, I'm going to show you how to take five minutes and transform your whole entire life. You better get excited. So let me tell you what day six in the journal says. How do you cope with stress? Repeat this mantra. Today I will judge nothing that occurs. Remind yourself to utilize your joy checklist. So in my manual, there is a joy checklist. You literally have to take five minutes and list the things that bring you joy. And then on those days that you're struggling, we're not going to go get alcohol. We're not going to go get drugs. We're not going to um, numb ourselves with the food addiction like I used to. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to go to our joy list and we're going to pick off something that brings us joy. And we're going to do that so we can reverse our depression and anxiety instantly. The whole book is worth that one statement alone. So let me tell you what I tell my clients in therapy sessions. Let's go through your day and tell me where your joy is. And we say, okay, you wake up in the morning, you eat, you go to work, you take care of the kids, then you watch some Netflix, you go to bed. I said, where's the joy? Well, I cook for everybody, I clean for everybody, I did this for my boss, I volunteered for the church. I said, that's fine, but where's your joy? Oh, I, I, I don't know if I have any. And I said, let me give you a secret. If there's no joy in your day, there will be no joy in your week. If there's no joy in your week, there will be no joy in your month. If there's no joy in your month, there will be no joy in your year. No joy in your year, there will be no joy in your decade. Decades turn into your lifetime and then you die. Do you think it would be important to find some joy? Get excited. So that's the journal for today. We're going to find our joy and we're going to implement it. All right. So, and guys. May God continue to shine his face upon you. May God be gracious to you and grant you peace. This is the season for us elevating to the next level. Because guess what? We're not leaving it in nobody's hands. We're going to do it ourselves. We're going to take five minutes for physical mastery. We're going to take five minutes for mental mastery. We're going to take five minutes for spiritual mastery. I promise you, invest five minutes on yourself. See the return on that investment. See the ROI on that. Recognizing your optimal identity. You, you're going to shock yourself. You need to reintroduce yourself to yourself and others. Well, guys, I'll see you Monday through Friday. Meet me right here live at 5 Eastern Standard Time. Definitely pick up your healing directory. This is the HD manual, baby. HD, higher definition for our consciousness.